In 2018, ASRock have been releasing a lot of cool products, some of which I've already covered here on the channel, ranging from motherboards to graphics cards, and they have five new B450 motherboards hitting the market. This ranges from the B450 Pro 4 and also the M model. They've also got the B450 Gaming ITX AC, great little budget choice if you wanna do an AMD Mini ITX build. There's also the Gaming K4, which is for that particular someone who wants to overclock, but also wants to keep value in mind. This has a 10 phase VRM. And also all these motherboards released from AMD carry a free store MI license too. So you don't have to go out and pay extra on that. And then we've got the cheapest model, the HDV. This is going to come in at around MSRP of $60. So you can overclock on this, but of course, since it is a budget model, you do still have to be careful. And then that ranges all the way up to the gaming K4, which is slated to be around $100 $25 MSRP. So ASRock are really covering all bases when it comes to B450 motherboards. Though let's take a look at what else they've also got on display. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. And if you guys liked the Desk Mini, then there's a few new variants being released. There's actually prototypes of a slim version coming in at 2.2 liters and also an XL version coming in at three liters. Now the XL version, you're probably thinking, why do they need to go bigger? They've already got out in the wild a 2.7 liter version, which features an 8700 or at least support for an 8700 on a Z370 and also a GTX 1080 MXM model. But the trick is they do tell me a rumor that an eight core and a Z390 is going to be released. And something like this prototype is definitely something that could support with that extra headroom so that it doesn't thermal throttle with a 95 watt TDP. But as for the good old weight, there's more. We did take a look already at the RX 580 Phantom Gaming. Now people did critique this as having no backplate. That was one of the biggest things that people wanted to see, especially on an RX 580 8 gig model. Now, ASRock do assure me, they didn't give me any specific dates, that they will be releasing a revision with a backplate installed. And also on display, they had a lot of these RX 580s in a mining setup. Two new products they are bringing to the market in terms of mining motherboards is one on the AMD side, the X370 Pro BTC Plus. This aims to use an AMD CPU, but still give you a lot of slots for mining if you wish to not use a riser cable, though it still has USB support and Molex support to add in additional risers on top, and it is a very long board. Beside that is still a long board, but one that is slated towards people who don't care about the CPU, they don't care about memory, and this is the J3455 Pro BTC Plus. It already has a CPU installed, that is the J3455, and it uses DDR3 or 3L so dim laptop memory, so you can get away with using a cheap stick of memory and still be able to stack a heap of graphics cards in a mining setup. Now the good thing about this display, or a bad thing, it depends if you're into mining or not, was that all these cards, when I put out the thermo imaging camera, they were all running extremely cool. Keep in mind the case was suited towards mining, but it was good to see that these cards were only hovering up to 50 degrees while they were mining hardcore F. In terms of their prices, that is yet to be confirmed by ASRock, but they do tell me that they will be coming out towards late July for both these massive mining motherboards. Though speaking of graphics cards, ASRock have decided to increase their current stack, and instead of just having an RX 580 as the top model, they now have a Vega 56 card, which will come in at an MSRP of $500. This includes a Phantom Gaming backplate, and it does look pretty cool. Of course, it's gonna run very similar to your Vega 56 reference model, since that is what it is based off of. Anyway guys, that about wraps it up for what's coming out in the next few months from ASRock. Let me know in the comments section below, and also don't forget to hit that like button about what you thought was the coolest product here on display. I definitely like those new Vega cards coming out, especially with that Phantom Gaming backplate, but also that Desk Mini with the GTX 1080 
and the support for the six core 12 thread was really cool too and then you've got the b450 motherboards which are really kicking it hard in terms of value for money i don't know which product i like the best let me know your thoughts and opinions and also there is a big rumor about graphics cards from asrock being able to be sold in europe they are working on that there's no specific dates yet so stay tuned for that but that will be coming don't know when exactly but they do tell me they are working on it anyway guys i'll catch you in another tech video very soon peace out for now bye